Hello, Gaming Palooza fans, and I'm in the dungeon here looking for uh, AV cables. Let's see if I can actually uh, figure out a way of hooking up that Atari 2600 Junior. Alright, let's see if we can find We have a Super Nintendo games up there. Uh, those are probably for PlayStation. I know I have a first model PlayStation 1 that takes standard AV cables. I don't know exactly where I have them, but I'm going to hunt for them. I will be right back. And now look, we got Atari 5200 cartridges. I don't have the console though. I know uh, eventually I'm going to test this one out, so I got a request to uh, try out Chopper Command. This is the controller that came with it. It's a standard 2600 controller. Uh, the conversion hooking this thing up isn't crazy. It's really crazy. It's the standard cable that plugs into the back of it, and then it plugs into the back of a VCR. That's an upscaler. Yeah, I really don't. It's basically running off mono audio, and then it plugs into the Elgato HD60, and then it records into here. Then from there, I do some editing, and you know all that fancy stuff. All right, so before we can even try the Atari 2600 Junior, we have to set up the VCR here. Now, right here we have a uh, Samsung VCR. It's a Star Sight Forehead Hi-Fi Stereo VCR. Very nice VCR. Let me see if we can get this uh, going right here. So, now the question is, do we put it on antenna, cable, or cable box? I'm assuming that we put it on an antenna, so uh, let's select that right there. In clock mode, uh, we'll just keep it at that. Not sure what the hell I did there, so. Apparently, in order to play the Atari, we have to put it on channel 2, so we're on channel 2. This game's working. These cartridges definitely probably need to be cleaned, so. Oh, oh, it looks like we got a picture here. What is this? We got something going on. What the hell is that? Alright, so I tried Star Raider. We got a picture, so we're, we're actually doing pretty good so far. <laughs> got a blow into the cartridge. Let's try uh, this game right here. See if this works. Now let's try this one more time. Oh yeah, it's working. Check this out. We got frog and flies. It's actually working. Oh, what the hell is going on here? So the whole object of this game right here, obviously, is to eat flies. Pretty simple. All right. Now it's landed in the water. Get my ass back up there. Yeah. Oh, this. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? All right. So yeah. Very, very simplistic game, but, you know, all the games back then were simplistic. It was basically like going to an arcade. You play a game for a good 20 minutes, and you had fun. Plenty of fun. So I can confirm that this Atari 2600 Junior works. And the conversion that I have plugged into the Elgato HD60 is insane, because I have a VCR. I have a composite to HDMI converter, which is an upscaler. And then I have the Elgato. And then that plugs into the computer. It's like, yeah, I'm not sure how the hell all this works, but it works. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so eventually I will be making more uh, gaming reviews. I will probably start recording them and uploading them uh, scheduled so that we can have uh, some reviews probably maybe once a week. And uh, yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. It works really well. I guess just for a bonus, let's look at this. This is a, uh, a manual. So on the manual right here, it actually tells you how to hook this thing up. There's a little, uh, it's like a UHF adapter right there. You can actually plug your antenna into it. Or a VHF adapter, that is. No, dude. Well, actually, no, there is a UHF adapter right there. There's way too many adapters right here. I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, yeah. Got the year old Atari controller, and uh, it's pretty awesome. You have actually an instructions right here. It says uh, a flat screwdriver is all you need to install your the TV game switch box. So, so this is uh, probably talking about that right there. 
So look at the back of your TV set and note which antenna configuration you have. Flat, twin head, VHF, or a round coaxial cable. So you know, back when this came out, you know, there was a variety of different TVs that had different hookups. You had UHF, VHF, coaxial, uh, composite just came out around that time. Uh, this has a copyright from 1986. That's when this console came out. Came out around the same time as the uh, 7800, and it's pretty much, pretty much the reason why it looks just like the 7800, but smaller. The only difference is uh, this does not play 7800 games. It plays 2600 games, while the 7800 plays both, minus the 5200 games. It's pretty awesome.